Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Fernando y este canal es Estudiando con Fernando en el cual hablamos únicamente del proceso de ciudadanía de los Estados Unidos. El día de hoy les traemos un video que les va a resultar muy útil pues es una simulación completa en la cual estamos incluyendo la juramentación. Así es, el mismo oficial que te hace la entrevista te va a hacer el juramento para que te conviertas en ciudadano de los Estados Unidos. Esto es algo que está volviendo común en las oficinas de inmigración, que el mismo oficial que te entrevista te hace el juramento, ¿verdad?, para que te conviertas en ciudadano de los Estados Unidos. Por eso el día de hoy así lo hemos hecho. La dinámica del video será la siguiente. El oficial te hará las preguntas y te hará un espacio para que respondas. Te invito a que respondas en voz alta. De esta manera vas a ver qué tan preparado estás para tu entrevista. También como mencioné, incluiremos la juramentación o la ceremonia de juramento para que tú puedas, ¿verdad?, convertirte en ciudadano de los Estados Unidos y si te llega a tocar este escenario, estés más que preparado. Ya saben amigos que todos estos videos son para ayudarles a que lleguen lo mejor preparado posible para su entrevista y nos pueden ayudar ustedes verdad a que estos videos les lleguen a demás personas con simplemente dándole un like o compartiéndolo. Si de repente algo no entienden de este video no te preocupes deja en los comentarios si te gustaría que hiciéramos un video ya sea con subtítulos o respondiendo a estas preguntas. De esta manera podemos aclarar tus dudas. Muy bien, vayamos a la práctica, mucha suerte. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay, please take a seat. Go ahead and use the hand sanitizer that's in front of you to clean your hands, please. Thank you. My name is Officer Dominguez, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you hand me your permanent resident card, your passports, and a state ID, please? Thank you. Now I'm going to ask you to place your index fingers on the scanner in front of you. You're going to do it one at a time. Don't remove it until I tell you to. Uh, you're going to start with your right index finger first. Okay. Go ahead and place your left index finger next. Thank you. And use the hand sanitizer one more time to clean your hands. Now you're going to turn to the camera. Pay attention to the camera that I'm going to place in front of you while I capture your picture. Thank you. Now you're gonna answer uh, the civics questions. I'm gonna start with the first one now. Name one state that borders Canada. Who is the father of our country? Name your U.S. representative. Name one branch or part of the government. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? What is the name of the national anthem? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Name one U.S. territory. And what do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? Great, give me one moment. Okay, 
For this part of the interview, you're going to pay attention to the tablet in front of you. Please read the following sentence that you see on the screen. Now, using your index finger, you're going to write down the following sentence on the tablet in front of you. Memorial Day is in May. Memorial Day is in May. Actually, you're only going to place one word on each line. Before we continue, do you have anything to update on your application? Okay, did anyone help you fill out this application? Have you ever called yourself a non-US resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Uh, please speak a little bit louder. Okay. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? When did you become a permanent resident? How did you become a permanent resident? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? What is your complete name? Will you be making any changes to your name today? Are there any other names you have used in the past? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group unit or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Were you ever a worker, a volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail? Prison camp? Detention facility? Labor camp? Any other place where people were forced to stay? Okay. What is your phone number? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Where do you live? How long have you lived at this address? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. No to all of them.
Okay. Can you tell me what genocide means? What is your previous address? Why did you move? Okay. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? What is your full social? How tall are you? And how much do you weigh? Do you have any children? How many children do you have? Can you speak a little bit louder, please? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? What is a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time? Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or tried to enter the United States illegally? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? And what is gambling? What are your children's names and their ages? Are you the biological parent of your children? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Do your children all live with you? Are all of your children U.S. citizens? Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Are you married? Have you ever been divorced? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, 
militia, insurgent organization. What is a militia? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation or been paroled? What is your spouse's name? Can you spell the first name of your spouse, please? Have you ever been in jail or prison? What is a jail or prison? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? What is arrested? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? What is the citizenship status of your spouse? Were you ever married or divorced back in your country of origin? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? What is deportation? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are you understanding the questions that I'm asking? Okay. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? What do you do for a living? How long have you worked at your current job? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party? Any other totalitarian party? A terrorist organization? Can you tell me what is communism? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? What is your supervisor's name where you work? Do you like what you do for work? What are your responsibilities at your job? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason?
Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Now I'm going to ask you about your trips in and out of the United States, okay? How many trips have you taken out of the United States since you submitted this application? Has any of the information changed on your application? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? How many times have you left the United States in the last five years? Let me verify something, give me a moment. How many total days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? When was the last trip you took out of the United States? What was the date? Where did you go? Who traveled with you? And how many days was this trip for? Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If you become a U.S. citizen, what is one thing you plan on doing? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay, great. Give me one moment, okay? Great, congratulations. I'm going to recommend your interview as approved today. There are a few things that we're gonna do before we conclude your interview. First, we're gonna review that all of the information is correct, and then you're going to print and sign your name, okay? I also have uh, great news for you. At this office today, we are actually doing the old ceremony the same day, and actually, it would actually be done with me here, between me and yourself. Uh, we can do your oath ceremony today, and you can take the oath of allegiance today so that you can become a U.S. citizen today. Awesome. I'm going to print a document for you to fill out, and you're just going to put no to all the questions, okay? Okay. 
fill out all of the information. Here's the pen. Um, like I said, you're going to put no to all of the questions. Just make sure that the information is correct, okay? And while you fill that out, give me one moment. I will be right back, okay? All filled out? Great. So I want you to listen carefully to the things that I'm going to tell you. Because becoming a US citizen, there are uh, big responsibilities that come with that. After you become a US citizen, you will have the option, the ability to vote you will be able to register for your passport, um, and you will have certain responsibilities and duties as a U.S. citizen. This is very important for you to understand. Do you understand the duties that come with being a U.S. citizen? Okay. So at this time, at this moment here with me, we're going to take the Oath of Allegiance. Please raise your right hand and you will repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law and that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Great. Congratulations. Now I'm going to give you your certificate of naturalization. Please review that all of the information is correct before you leave today. I'm also going to give you a flag to memorialize your day today. Congratulations, my fellow American. You are now a U.S. citizen.
¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue en la práctica? Espero que te ha ido excelente. Si así fue, déjamelo saber en los comentarios. Si te quedaron algunas dudas, déjanos en los comentarios si te gustaría que hiciéramos un video aclarando todas estas preguntas o respondiendo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál de los dos videos te gustaría más? Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, recuerda, te deseamos mucha suerte. Esperamos que todo salga bien. Si no tienes tu entrevista aún, no te preocupes. Sigamos trabajando todos los días para que lleguen lo mejor preparado. Nos vemos pues en el próximo video. Chao.